The house that doesn't house. There are two houses here. Yeah. One inside the other? The one doesn't really have a physical existence, so it's, there's no point in trying to locate it exactly. But the physical house is the one we... In the common sense way, we live in the physical house. And there's something about it that we resent? Yes. Don't you think that's true? Yes, I, I find myself wanting to break out of the house. Yeah, break out, yeah. Houses are always uh, requiring making demands on us. Uh, we have to hold them up. We have to hold them up, yeah. They hold us up, but we have to hold them up, too. And if we let them fall? And we become homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own place and live there alone. In some ways, we shape each other, perhaps. It's not the house that lives me, though, though something does. I think of whatever lives us as another house that we don't have to live in or even know about. It has space we can go to, not to stay, but go home again to the smaller rooms of our own, wondering at size, at immensity, where we sense the shelter and have no sense of wall, where there seems concern for us, though no one there, and we feel thankful for what we give our temporal tininess and begin to love ourselves as worthy deservers, as though we were ones who were loved and go bemused back home alone there.